right, so I just want to show you how I create the blur boxes for the videos on like information that I don't want to share. So we use a program called Shotcut. It's a free download. Um, and it's able to do some really, you know, nice video editing things that are pretty easy to use. So first things first is you'll want to make a video or have an image of whatever you want to edit. Okay, so I just use Screencastify really fast to make a quick video. I downloaded that video, opened shot Shotcut, okay? And then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to name your video. So I'm going to go ahead and start this. I'll show you how easy it is. You don't have to like save it on your desktop, okay? But you just take that um, downloaded video and you drag it here, okay? Um, and then, you know, it's kind of like looks like a lot of steps, but it's really not that many. And then what you're going to go and do, you're going to go over here to playlist, make sure that's open. And you're going to drag that into your playlist. Then you're going to take that and you're going to drag it down here and it's going to create one of your overlays. And then what you're going to want to do, because you don't want to, this is your master, right? You don't want anything to happen to this. We're going to add a layer here by right clicking. And you're going to go to track options and add a video track. Okay, if you're adding audio, it's, it's the same thing. And then now we're going to drag this video down so that it will overwrite the um, original video, okay? And so now I just usually mute them. <laughs> I wasn't talking in the video anyways, but it just makes it nicer just to hear, not have interference between the two videos. Now, if I was going to write point in the video, I have it starting right at the beginning, right? And you just go over here to your filters, go to add, and it's going to be two filters that you're going to use. You're going to use a blur box, okay? And you're going to want to kind of decide how much you want to blur it. And then you're also going to add a crop. You could do a crop rectangle or whatever you, um, whatever shape you're going for. And you're going to want to click the transparent um, option. And what that does is it allows you to move this blur box now anywhere you want, okay? And so in this case, the text doesn't change, but let's just say the text did change. Um, in my video, I definitely would want to add a cut and then move that text box. But this is just a basic video on how you can make the crop rectangle. And if you're familiar with other video editing, it should be pretty easy for you to kind of maneuver from there. But if you have questions, you can always ask and we can make a more detailed video on how to do that. Okay, when you're done, you just click uh, export file. If you're sure that that's the file you want, you would of course just um, maybe add, I always try to add like final to the end of mine. So that way I know that it's the, you know, the final cut.